Stitch number 35 on the Fop Ambition 1.0 sewing machine. It's called a mock hand quilting stitch. Now, I don't know how they came up with this, but it truly looks like you've stitched by hand if you're looking at the front. So it's a manipulated stitch that we start off by putting clear thread in the needle. Now, I notice where I picked this up from. I'm actually cheating just a little bit and running it up to my vertical spool pin over the top here. I would highly recommend a thread stand. There is just something about clear thread. It always wants to link around everything. So I try to avoid putting it on the vertical spool pin up here because I tend to get it more wrapped around itself than not. So by just setting it in front of the machine on the table down here and then going up and over. So the other thing that we see is it does use foot zero A and the dual feed or the IDT is engaged. We are going to stitch like on a piece of cotton fabric with batting in between, but the stitch that you will see is whatever color, so for example, I have this color in my bobbin, that's the color of the stitch. I know, it looks backwards, doesn't it? So the other thing that's very important, you must realize this, otherwise it really doesn't work, is look what the tension says for me to turn it up to. So somewhere in this seven, eight, or nine category. So I will tell you, like I said, it's a manipulated stitch. I've had some clear thread work, some not. Some bobbin thread and choice of batting has sometimes worked and sometimes not. So when you find the nice happy setting of thread, batting, clear thread, and tension setting, then you'll know you have mastered this stitch. As you'll see on this stitch, it takes a few stitches forward and then a few stitches back. And it's when it takes the stitches back is when it drags that bobbin thread all the way up to the top side of the fabric. Now, once you do get it set, and I did have to try it a few times to really get it to be what I'm looking for, but we do find that it does look like hand stitching when it's done. But that's why they call it a mock hand quilting stitch, not a real hand quilting stitch.